Raven Petroleum has acquired land near Webb in Duval County, but they still need to acquire a permit from TCEQ before construction begins. Yet, people are already talking about the possible effects a refinery of this size could have on the surrounding area. In a town whose glory days may have been in the past, a tempting future is looming. It has sparked a, a new energy into our community. It, uh, uh, something that we have been waiting for. It's going gonna, it's gonna to make this whole region very different than, than what it is. Hebronville could be the nearest town to the proposed site of an oil refinery. Raven Petroleum bought land in Duval, bordering Webb and Jim Hogg, Kansas Railroad, traversing nearby. Jim Hawk mm -hmm. County Judge Umberto Gonzalez, Duval County Judge Ricardo Carrillo and constituents are looking forward to how this facility could transform their towns. I anticipate there's going to be a big boom along that area. I'm going to see a, 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 a town that is prospering, uh, jobs for, for people. But a facility that plans to refine 50,000 barrels of crude oil a day could also have repercussions on the environment. They were concerned with that when they started selecting the technology that would come in, uh, and it's going to be high tech. Dr. Wilma Subro, an experienced chemist studying refineries and their effects, says TCEQ air permits allow for emissions, but those emissions can contain dangerous levels of chemicals including things like benzene, which is a known human cancer-causing agent, dioxins and furans with our carcinogens and teratogens, and ethylbenzene, toluene, xylene, hydrochloric acid, mercury, naphthalene, sulfuric acid, and a whole host of other chemicals. Even though Hebronville is six miles away in Bruni 7, Dr. Suber says these emissions can affect public health up to 10 miles away. It'll cause health impacts such as shortness of breath, sinus problems, coughing, bronchitis, irritation of the eyes, sleep disturbance, forgetfulness, memory problems, all the way down to cancer-causing agents such as liver and kidney and lung cancer and again leukemias. Dr. Subra, along with the Rio Grande International Study Center, will study the TCEQ permit application to see if the refinery could also affect nearby drinking water sources. All information that will be weighed by those who stand to gain or lose in the not too distant future. Our citizen safety is number one and there's no one who wants to do something that's going to do a permanent damage either to the environment or to our citizens. The refinery could be bringing hundreds of jobs to the area and would significantly affect the tax base for Duval. Tomorrow, we'll explore how all of these counties are preparing for what may come should the refinery be open for business. For KGNS, I'm Valerie Gonzalez.